Hello and welcome to another class of the Scriptcase Fundamentals training. In this class, I'm going to talk about Scriptcase macros. So first of all, what are macros? Macros are functions created by Scriptcase. They are created to help you customize your application as well as to help you code with some ease. The code editor within Scriptcase provides some nice functionalities which allow you to change the code editor to widescreen, display the sidebar menus again, search and replace, as well as change the current theme, which you had all seen within the previous video. So before I begin a quick note about Scriptcase macros, Scriptcase macros all begin with an SC underscore. So when beginning to enter your macro and you have entered your SC underscore into the code editor, then you can also hit the control plus the spacebar on your keyboard, which will in turn provide you with a list of available macros which are compatible with the current event you are viewing. On selection, the macro will be inserted with the relevant indications, variables and fields that are required required for enter. Using macros will simplify your code editing as well as your validation processes and business rules which you want to apply within Scriptcase. To the right of the editor there is a small information panel. This is informing you of the event type currently being viewed and below that we have some tabs which include examples, Scriptcase macros as well as your own code snippets collection. Within the examples tab you will find some more commonly used macros ready to use and apply. When they are displayed with a green image, they are functional within the current event. I can then click on any of these and the code is directly inserted into the event. From there, I can now go ahead and edit the values which I want to have replaced within the macro following my own requirements. Within the macros tab, I can view the full list of available macros. Again, in green, they are ready to use and apply within this specific event. Clicking on one will insert it into the event window. Again from here I can go ahead and edit my specific information or variables that I want to apply. Each of these macros can be viewed with examples as well as full details on our website. You can access the Scriptcase manual by pressing F1 and then by viewing the online version being the most up to date, selecting there then the read manual option. And then on the left hand menu, we have the option macros, as well as then the general overview. Selecting any of the available macros, you'll be able to view more information on how to use them, including examples, and which applications and events are compatible with the selected macro. Here you can also check a quick explanation of what the macro does, how to use it, some examples, and where you can use them. Thank you for watching this part of the Scriptcase Fundamentals training. I hope to see you again soon in the next class.